God is in the small things as well as the great. Our Daily Bread. Today's encouragement from Our Daily Bread Ministries was written by Julie Ackerman Link. Julie says that she loves to take pictures of sunsets at the lake. Some are subtle shades of pastel, while others are bold strokes of bright color. Sometimes the sun sinks quietly behind the lake, while other times it goes down in what looks like a fiery explosion. If she were to choose between seeing a sunset in pictures or in person, well, Julie would prefer the latter, though both show the handiwork of God. When it comes to the Lord's work in the world, well, her preferences are the same. She would rather see dramatic answers to prayer than ordinary provisions of daily bread. But again, both are the work of God. The Bible's Old Testament prophet Elijah may have had similar preferences. He had grown accustomed to being the center of God's grand displays of power. We see in 1 Kings chapter 18 that when Elijah prayed, God showed up in dramatic ways, first in the miraculous defeat of the prophets of Baal, and then in the end to a long and devastating drought. But then Elijah felt afraid and started to run. God sent an angel to feed and strengthen him for his journey. And after 40 days, Elijah arrived in Horeb. God showed him that he was now communicating in a still, small voice, instead of flashy miracles. You know, if you're discouraged because God hasn't shown up in a blaze of glory, well, perhaps he's revealing himself with his quiet presence. Today's Our Daily Bread devotional scripture reading comes from 1 Kings chapter 19, verses 1 through 12. Now Ahab told Jezebel everything Elijah had done and how he had killed all the prophets with the sword. So Jezebel sent a messenger to Elijah to say, May the gods deal with me, be it ever so severely, if by this time tomorrow I do not make your life like that of one of them. Elijah was afraid and ran for his life. When he came to Beersheba in Judah, he left his servant there, while he himself went a day's journey into the wilderness. He came to a broom bush, sat down under it, and prayed that he might die. I have had enough, Lord, he said. Take my life. I am no better than my ancestors. Then he lay down under the bush and fell asleep. All at once an angel touched him and said, Get up and eat. He looked around, and there by his head was some bread baked over hot coals and a jar of water. He ate and drank and then lay down again. The angel of the Lord came back a second time and touched him and said, Get up and eat, for the journey is too much for you. So he got up and ate and drank. Strengthened by the food, he traveled forty days and forty nights until he reached Horeb, the mountain of God. There he went into a cave and spent the night. And the word of the Lord came to him, What are you doing here, Elijah? He replied, I have been very zealous for the Lord God Almighty. The Israelites have rejected your covenant, torn down your altars, and put your prophets to death with the sword. I am the only one left, and now they are trying to kill me too. The Lord said, Go out and stand on the mountain in the presence of the Lord, for the Lord is about to pass by. Then a great and powerful wind tore the mountain apart and shattered the rocks before the Lord. But the Lord was not in the wind. After the wind, there was an earthquake. But the Lord was not in the earthquake. After the earthquake came a fire. But the Lord was not in the fire. And after the fire came a gentle whisper. That's today's scripture from 1 Kings chapter 19, verses 1 through 12. And now let's pray. Lord, may we see you today in the small details of life. Help us to hear you in the quiet moments of our day and to celebrate the gift of your holy presence. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Today's encouragement was provided by Our Daily Bread Ministries.